Hi everyone, Expat Aviator here, and uh, I thought I'd show you a little bit of my latest project. I've been toying with making uh, a home cockpit, or at the very least, some sort of really rudimentary MCP panel so that I'm not using the mouse to spin heading knobs and, and things like that, which I just find uh, kind of awful. So um, with, with SimVim, and I went out and bought uh, one of these Arduino kits from microsensor today this is 30 bucks um kind of regretting buying it as a kit i should have just bought the board i thought i was getting some interesting things i'll show you show you briefly what uh, what you get uh, you get this this board here which is the brains of it um you get this breadboard which i've got to be honest is is kind of hard to see and kind of crappy um you get some little speaker some momentary push buttons you get a bag of LEDs, uh, what else do you get? Uh, you get a simple potentiometer, some capacitors, some uh, these light sensors, uh, That that's actually a fire diode apparently, um, bag of random resistors, little segment display, um, a bag of these leads, these ones I bought separately, and um, I actually bought one of these, these rotary encoders, because I was hoping this would be you know, like your heading select, which also has a push, which would be good for heading sync. Um, but the documentation with SimVim says that these are no good on the board because of whatever's going on the back. So you have to desolder them. I might do that. I might just buy some cheap ones. Um, but anyway, I, I thought I'd show you what I've got working. Um, so starting out, the idea being this would be some sort of uh, MCP panel. Uh, we've got a couple of things. Well, let, let's start off first with uh, this little switch, which is switching the, the landing lights on and off. Um, but also I've got this as a nav select. So the nav on the G1000 had just been a single button. And what I wanted was a little light to come on whenever nav mode or GPS mode in the G1000 was engaged. Um, I'm really thinking of building a King Air cockpit. And so this is kind of an interesting test. Um, so let's see. There we go, in uh, GPS mode, and back out of GPS mode. So that's as far as I've got for now. Um, I'll do some more updates if people find this interesting as I, as I prototype all of this out before actually building anything in any seriousness. I'll leave some links below to the the documentation I'll be using. Any questions? Let me know.